You better reach past the break. Yeah. To tie you a new knot. But you need to hold on. Amen. Satan is, Satan is messing with you. Yeah, come on. There's that folk in the other day that, that's trying to make a, a commitment to do better. Satan don't mess with you, especially. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He outside the door right now getting his game plan. Uh -huh. Keep in every now and then see whether you agree with me or not. Yeah. And the more you shake your head, you say, oh, we got to get something tough. You, you got to be secure that that, that that you God's child. Amen. Let, let me tell you, don't take much. All you got to believe is that, that he was born and that he died and God raised him from the dead for your sins. The, the penalty for everything you've done has been paid. Satan tried to make to tell you a lie and say, you got to go through this because sometimes you messed up. God said, I didn't wipe that stuff away. You don't have to look back no more. You need to look forward. Stop looking at what you messed up and look what I'm going to do for you. And hold on until it comes. Yes, We got to do that. You got to get some get, get secure in your faith. That means secure means I got to know that I got it. Uh, a lot of us think we got it, but you got to know that you got it. Amen. And if you ain't been through the storm and the rain a couple of times, you don't know Amen. that you got it. Amen. Lord allows us to go through some stuff so we build up our tolerance to that stuff. Y'all yeah. hear me? Yes. You know, it's like the flu shot. Uh. They put the flu in you so your system will get intolerant to the flu. Yes, they don't put it in me because I don't take the shot, but Amen. they do that for most people. <laughs> That's all they're doing is injecting you with the virus so you can be immune to the virus. Yes. Well, well, God allows us to go through some trouble sometimes so we get a little stronger. Yeah. It's like putting weights around your legs when you're working out. When you take the legs out, you can really run fast then, can't you? But, but God allows things, and he don't put it on you. I don't want to lie to you. He allows your mistakes to get some stuff around you, and he allows you to carry it around for a while. And it's only through faith that you can get through that. you got to believe that if I just hold on, if I just hold on, God don't come see about me. If you believe that, then you you you, you got a, you got a chance. Amen? Well, you know, that, 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 that two or four little points in our text today that I need to bring out, and they'll be brief. But the first thing verse 22 tells us is that we have access to the Lord. So, so many of us think that we got to ask somebody else to go to God for us. You got access. When Jesus came and split up that curtain and broke up that curtain and separated the holy from the unholy God, Jesus said, then you, you, you can come see the God. You don't have to wait for nobody to pray for you. Amen. You can pray for yourself. Amen. You, you don't have to wait till Sunday to start praising God. All right, all right. You, you can praise Him right now, right where you are. Yeah. You, 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 don't, you don't have to wait for somebody to help to give you some help. Jesus said, help is right here. All you got to do is reach yeah. out for me. If you, if you need a blessing, those some say just reach up and grab it. It's available to you. You have access for everything that you need today. You, you, don't, you don't have to wait for me to tell you you can get it. You can just get it, but it got to be through, through faith. You got to believe that. What, what did I say the two words were? The certain and what? Y'all remember? Go back and look. Sure and certain. If you sure and certain that God is who we say he is, then there ain't going to be no, no trouble that, about getting it with you. That's mine. Isn't that right? You ever been to the bank and they gave you a statement that said it had less money than that than what you thought? I was sure and certain I got my deposits I know I got that. You go there and tell them folks. Don't know that your wife did real checks on the record. But, but you are sure you got money. Every time you write a check or use your debit card, it's because you sure you got some money in there. Well, God done already made a deposit for you. Way back on Calvary. When Jesus died on that cross and God raised him from the dead. He put a deposit in there that you can draw on any time. Any time. You don't have to worry about going in there for something they say you got insufficient. Jesus' blood is sufficient for anything that you need. You got to remember that you got access. Amen. And then the second thing is that is that we, 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 we need to grow. We may grow. 
Amen. Amen. We may not we may not have all that we need spiritually wise now, but because of of, of, of the price that God paid for us, we have the ability to get better. Amen. Amen. We're not judged just on how we are, but on how, how, what we can do. God allows you to grow to whatever extent you want to be. There are no limitations on your knowledge that you can gain about God. He, he don't say that some of it is reserved just for the preacher. God will give you the same knowledge that he gives the preacher. Everything is not reserved for the teacher. He say, if you have a heart for teaching, I'll make you a teacher. You have the ability to grow into whatever it is that God has has for you to do. Yeah. Amen. Now everybody can't do everything. If you want to open your mouth and talk, you ain't going to be able to teach nobody nothing. Yeah. But if you have a desire in your heart, yeah. God said you can do that. Yeah. I, I may not be able to sing like somebody else, but if my desire to sing is that, I can sing. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And, and, and I ain't going to make everybody's ears bad. They're going to say, I didn't know you could do that. Well, I can't do it every day, but because God put it in me today, amen, I can do a little something today. Now, don't ask me to be up and sing no solo, but I can sing well enough to carry a note today. And that's all I'm worried about is today. I'm not trying to make no living on no singing. But today, the Spirit of God allows me to do whatever I want to do. He gives you that ability. You find that over 23. And in, 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 in 24, oh, I got all that here right there. That, that we may enjoy encouragement. Yes. Amen. And I got to link 25 and 24 together. God said in, in 25, He says, and not assembling of ourselves together, which is a manner of some. You know what He's talking about? That might come in the church. Amen. We come to church so that we can encourage one another. We come to church so we can let folk know that they've been through what we're going through. We, we may think that where we're going is into a dark pit, but somebody's already been down that same road you're going down. And we come to church so we can encourage one another. We, we, and, and, and you know something else? You can encourage yourself. You come to church and and, and, and you're able to be around other Christians that are praising the Lord, you can encourage yourself. You can say, well, I tried to pray, but I couldn't pray. But then I heard the sister pray at church Sunday, and I can pray like that, or I can pray. And then I, you learn that, that, that praying is just talking to God. So you get, you get encouraged about, about your own faith in God because we have an opportunity to come to church. So, so if, our, if our faith is secure, then we're going to take advantage of all these opportunities that we have. And we're going to help ourselves get better. And then we can start to realize the promises of God. God's promises run, run, run deep and wide. And he, he promised that I'll never leave you, nor will I ever forsake you. He, he promised that that I've never seen the, my seed of begging for bread or, or my people of want of anything. Yes. He, he promised that when the storms of life are raging in yes. you, that, that yes. I'll be a shelter in the time of your storm. Yes. He, he promised you when, when, when your mother and your father forsake you, that the Lord will then take you up. He promises that when you get weak, that's when he is strong, that, that he come to see about you. He promised that those who wait on the Lord, he will renew their strength. They will run and not get weak. They will walk and never fail. He, he promised that no weapon formed against you will ever prosper. When, when you secure in your faith, you can call on the promises of God. When you've been struggling to, to get basic needs, you can look back and see that he promised that, that I'm going to give you life, and not just life to struggle it, but life more abundantly. And when you look back on God, and you can say, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. When you look back at the promises of God, he promised you, he promised you that, that he's going to come to see about you. And you can be secure in your faith. You can be secure in your faith. What did he tell you? He said, when, if you would just, just deny Satan, that he'll flee from you. Satan's been kicking, using you as a punching bag too long. Ain't that right? 
I've been punching you around. And every time you're feeling good about yourself, you get hit upside the head by Satan. And Satan says, 